Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge and welcome back to Let's School. Well, last time Cupboard College opened up its doors and we welcomed a handful of students. Not too many, I think we've only got 15 right now, but we are still getting things sorted out. We're in the early days of our school right now. So far, we have a classroom over there, we've got a little tea area there, which doesn't seem to serve tea right now. It's all about hot water, maybe we can get some tea in at some point. Got some toilet facilities here, got a research room there, and then over here we've got the new and exciting outdoor food tent which is all very good. So it's all gone quite well so far. I think we get time ticking on because it's the start of a brand new day. I think it's the third day of the week. Yeah, so day three. There is the troublesome panda. So there is Smiley the Troublesome Panda. Smiley looks very adorable. Look at Smiley going around the players just, you know, doing what they like. But they do tend to do this. They do tend to sit on desks. And that is a bit of a nuisance for the people that would like to use that desk because we do also have a cat. I'm not even sure where the cat is, but if the cat sits on the desk, it's not so much of a problem. You can either sort of work around the cat or possibly you can sort of move the cat. However, oh crikey, okay, that was a bit weird. Okay, right, so Betty did try to use a desk there, but yeah, when there's a panda on your desk, it's a little bit trickier to use, isn't it? Because pandas are quite big, but yeah, the panda, Smiley the Panda, does like sitting on desks. I mean, that's the first time I think I've seen it on the headmaster's desk. Generally, it goes for the desk over here, it goes for the research desk. That might be where they're headed now. Maybe that's where they're going. Oh no, they're going in here. They're going to sit on a student's desk. Right, that might be a little bit of a technical issue for that student. How are they going to handle this? So, okay, which student is it? I mean, you possibly should be paying more attention. Is it you? You are just going to kind of sit down. You're going to try and carry on, even though there is a panda. A panda right there in your face. I dread to think of, <laughs> of what you must be thinking right now. Poor student over there. You don't seem to be very well equipped for school right there. You've got not the right things on. Why haven't they got the, um, why aren't they all wearing the school uniform? They're all wearing different uniforms. Half of the week is over now. We must keep a close eye on every classroom's aspiration progress in course schedule and ensure as many students as possible achieve their goals. Okay, so are you going to tell us how to do that? Aspiration progress. Okay, pause time for a second. So I think that at the top there is telling us the estimated exam results. So at the moment, we've got the 15 students in and if they were to take their exams right now, none of them at all would pass, which is a little bit rubbish, isn't it? That's not very good. So we do need to work on that. But we have got, I think we've got kind of three full days. There's two days there. It says days until next test, two days. But we've got the entire of Wednesday to do and then all of Thursday and then all of Friday as well. I think we're going to be fine. I mean, yeah, the estimates are that everyone's going to pass by the end of the week. So I think that should be okay. We need to get to that red line there, I think it is. So that yellow needs to get to there. And then it's all going to be wonderful. But I mean, yeah, look, they haven't done that much in the way of science yet. They've not done too much science. So they can get some science done today. It's a very science-heavy day today. And aspirations, what have we got there? So knowledge points required for the final exam. So they need... What is that? They just need a handful of the... Yeah, it's both. It's what they're learning now. It's science and literature. And that's fine. That's what they're going towards. So, okay, that's not too much of a bother. Right, so get time ticking back on. When the research over here is done, if our researchers could actually, you know, show up for work and do some stuff, there's not a panda sitting on your desk anymore, research people. Go and do some work. Who are you? Who are you? You are... You're a researcher. Can you go and do some actual research? Okay, I think there's somebody over there. Oh, no, that's the cat. And there's a... Is that inside? There's a butterfly inside as well, I think. Okay, so now on the research desk here, there's a cat and also a butterfly is in there. Um, we are trying to get these slightly more advanced kind of um, science researchy stuff done. Oh, they can work around the cat, look. That's fine. Um, so we're trying to get that done because you're on the schedule down here. Uh, we're going to apparently teach the children algebra, but we don't know how to do algebra just yet. We haven't quite worked out how to do that, even though we are a school. So our two researchers... And I'm trying to get that done. And when that is done, I think then we maybe need to look into getting some sort of uh, some sort of cleaning arrangement going on because it is getting a little bit messy around here. There's a bit of something over there, like dust and litter and such like. There's something over here. That room's looking a bit grubby. So we could do with getting that sorted. So I think when they've done that, and it's just getting there, I think that'll be done by the end of the day. Maybe on the next day we could possibly look at getting some sort of janitors in or whatever. What's going on just there? Is it more illicit kind of um, illicit gaming? Yes, it is. Um, right, Betty, can you go and stop these kids from doing that, please? Yep, she's going to run over and just give a bit of a ticking off. 
um, we surely are going to have a gigantic handful of games consoles now. Do we not want to give them back? Do we not give them back? Um, hang on a second. So where are we? Where's our inventory? Just there. Uh, we've now got seven video game consoles. I mean, what do we do with them? We use them. It just says use video game console. I mean, where is, where's Betty? There she is. We can't miss Betty. She's just decided to stand in a plant for some reason. But I mean, yeah, what do we do? Use video game console. I don't know how we use it. Well, can we sell them on for a bit of money for the school or whatever? Do we give them back at the end of the... Maybe we give them back at the end of the week. Maybe that's what happens. We give them back to the students. I don't know. I'm not quite sure. That's coming along very well. Look at that. It's only, what, coming up to about 20 to 11 in the morning. And already, they must be about 75% of the way through. That's pretty good. Okay, so get time ticking on a little bit quicker. If they're working that quick, maybe we can get that done possibly way before the end of the day. In fact, it might even be done before lunchtime. They're flying through this now. This is good. 89%, still on 89%, stalled on 89% for some reason. Um, not quite sure why. Why is it stalled on 89%? Okay, do, do more. Unless they're doing something else. Are you guys doing other things now? Do you have to do some other bits and bobs? Oh, hang on, there's a panda. <laughs> 96, 97, 98, 99, 100%. Okay, right. So now we know how to teach junior science courses. So um, yeah, we can now do that. A trigonometry ruler. Oh, maybe we have to put one of those in the classroom. Okay, right, continue research. So now, I'll oh, pause time for a second. Uh, we need to look at tidying stuff up. So school reform, what's that? Unlocks... Uh, lighting related furniture, fire safety, management facilities, and uh, better teacher recruitment opportunities. Um, we need really that down there. Okay, hang on. What do we need for that? Uh, we need to get cleaning. We need to get like the cleaning cupboard done, but we can't do that. Please complete all research available for that stage. Um, I'm not quite sure how we do. Do we have to get playground done? Maybe if we get Playground. It looks like Playground's only going to unlock that, though. I'm not quite sure how we do that. Education, I think we're okay. I think we're okay for that. Oh, that's like a generic thing across the top. And then management, uh, staff break room, campus security. I mean, they're quite good things. Maybe, though, for 0.4 days of research, let's get, let's get a Playground sorted. And then maybe if those first two tiers are done in here, maybe it'll then unlock the sort of second column of things and we can get some sort of hygiene stuff on the way and maybe even an infirmary that's quite that's quite a lot of research as is the cleaning good grief okay right move time on then you've now got a new job to work on already you're flying through that i think if the panda doesn't interfere too much that might well be done by the end of the day looking at that it's about two o'clock ish now and they're already a third of the way through i think maybe that might be done by the end of the day that would be good hang on what's that is that something I need to be aware of? What's wrong with you? Uh, oh, okay. You're making a nuisance of yourself. Class sure is a drag. When can I go play? Student is acting up. They won't learn from the course and their behavior will affect others around them. Okay, so reprimand or punish. They're kind of similar things. We're going to reprimand them. I think punish, I don't quite know what the difference is between what we do, but we're going to reprimand them. Just give them a bit of a tick in off. Say, no, that's not good enough. Stop being such a silly sausage. Right. Um, so, Charlene Martin, if you could just behave, please. Study well. Is that it? Is that what we just said? Study well. Oh, yeah, that'll, that'll sort it out then. Okay. <laughs> right, you are. There we go. Uh, it looks like maybe... Is she actually back on it now? Yeah. Okay, she is back on it. Now, science-wise, look at that. They are looking pretty good for their science teaching. That's looking very good indeed. After a few days of hard work, the teachers have asked for a break room so they can rest and recharge their work energy. Okay, I see. That's completely fair. That is fair enough. Um, oh, click research. Yeah, we, we know how to do this. Uh, it can be found over there. And it's uh, just there. I know where it is, but we're researching a playground at the minute. So we're going to get the playground done first. And then the staff can go and have a bit of a break. But I mean, yeah, the playground, we're flying through that, look. We're flying through that 75%. Is it going to be done? 
by the end of the day. There's a bit of a break there at 4.30 in the afternoon, but these guys don't have a break. Okay, boom. Playground is done. We can now build a playground cattery, playground slide, a seesaw, some benches, a tire chair, and a gate. Okay, right. Continue research. Pause time. Get the break room done then. The game wants us to get a break room. Um, right, a playground. Where can a playground go? We've got a bit of money. We could do that. We could get a playground in. So, facility, a playground. Okay, provides entertainment for all. So, it's going to be 30 squares in size. I mean, what is that used for? What is this? Can we just sort of put it over here? Can we build floors? Can we change the floor? Or does it change when we put the playground on it? Like, I don't know what that is. Or should it go over here somewhere? I think, I think we'll put the playground over in this corner, possibly. Maybe put the playground in that corner. That could be quite good. Or maybe over in that corner. That's too far behind the school. Let's put it over here. We do need to do some uh, some destroying of things. Hang on. That fence can go. That little kind of light thing can go. I do quite like the tree. I like the tree there. I think we'll keep the tree. So playground, minimum size of 30 squares. Um, if we just go like that, uh, it's going to be relatively expensive. But if we make it really big, that can just, you know, that can sit there for ages. That can just be a big long-term investment. So almost six grand to get the playground in. Right, enter construction mode. Right, okay, we need a way in. So this is going to be the door. Um, and let's put the door under the lovely tree. That's quite nice. So a nice door there. And then we've got... Oh, right, so now we have all these kind of weird things. So that's the cat thingamajig. And then we want to get a slide. Um, so, okay, rotate these around with that. Uh, let's put the slide over there like that and we can we have another one next to it just a couple of slides that's quite fun uh we'll have a seesaw just drop that in because that's fun and we'll have um okay we'll have ourselves a couple of those seats rotate them around as well so we'll put some like that across there look and then how about in the middle here we can just have some seats going like that we can have another Hang on, another seesaw in the middle, yeah, maybe along the edge actually again, maybe along the edge like that, so a couple of those, and we'll put some more seats down there, playground gate, we could also put one across there, no, because then you can walk out into a seesaw and that's a bit silly, um, yeah, we'll have some more seats across the back here, look, so we'll just go seat, 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 like that, there we go, so you've got plenty of places to sit down, I quite like that, in fact, you know, why not have seats across the entire entire back of the thing just the entire side there we can just have lots of lovely seating and that's all fine and then can we add a few of these things um a steam review milestone upon reaching 2000 reviews the effect will be upgraded give us a good review now oh <laughs> oh i see it's gonna be meta that's kind of a thing that it's gonna be a better effect if the game does better on the steam okay that's a bit strange um how about a school flag in the middle of the playground, because that's quite fun. If we can put that there, look and rotate it round. So there's the school flag. Drop that in. And if we could get another few, I can't remember how many that is. What's the difference between those? 50, 17 more points. We might be able to get this up to a tier two playground, which would be quite good. What's going to help us with that? I mean, there's some flower beds. That's not going to help much. That gives us a nice kind of vegetation score or whatever it is um i mean yeah can we just put a few of those in along there that looks quite pretty um the large clock i mean yeah again we saw this before this is indeed a large clock but i think that has to go inside which is a bit of a nuisance stone sphere that can go outside why don't we put one in that corner and one in that corner up to 44 and then why don't we put we put them on the base of that? No. What else can we have? Can we have a pagoda? Okay, that's that's really big. Can we move that? Pick that up and put that uh, there. Yeah, do you want to put that there? Maybe move that over. Pick that up. Put that there. Grab as a pagoda. Stick that in the corner of the playground because that looks quite nice. So drop that in like that. It's now going to be a level two facility, which is good. And then, I think if we can pick, uh, can we pick you back up? 
me pick you back up again? No. Okay, oh, hang on. Maybe we have to go back to that thing and pick that up. We can't, I can't pick them up again now. Why can't I pick them up? I want to move those. Um, ah, there we go. Like that. So put one of those there and one of them. Maybe actually... Oh, botherations. No, not demolish mode. Uh, no, not that either. I want to pick it up and move it. There you go. Furniture move mode. Uh, we'll put that there. So you climb up and slide down. So mm, actually, hang on. We're going to move that back a bit. Because if you do that, you're going to smash your feet into that. So at least you've got a bit of space around the edge of the flag now. There we go. Lovely. I spent a massive amount of money on it, but that's fine. So okay that. So say yes. And we have a lovely playground with a fancy pagoda in it. And it's a really good playground as well. It's not some sort of rubbish playground. It's a really good one. Um, so yeah, hang on, move time on a bit. We do want to get some more lovely building score. That was one of the things that we chose. Oh, arguing. Oh, look at that cloud. Does it look like bread? I think it looks like a pancake. I'm hungry. Okay. <laughs> wow. Wow, what a thrilling conversation. Can we teach conversations, please, next time? Um, okay, I mean, I like that they're inside as well, talking about a cloud. Look at that cloud. So you're inside. You're in, you can't talk about clouds. You're indoors. Uh, right, they're still doing the research on the staff room. So for now, we've got to wait. But it's not even... Yeah, it's okay, right. It's just come up to the end of day three. And that's the current sort of school result thing. So it's looking pretty good. So if we just run time on, because everyone's gone home now. Apart from the panda, of course. I don't even know, if, but does Betty go home? I think even Betty goes home. So the cat and the panda just kind of hang around for a bit. And now we fly through nighttime. We leave the lights on for the panda and the cat. That's quite nice. Um, and then everyone can come back in for day four. And then hopefully we can get that research done for the staff room. Where do we build that, however? That is a very good question. Where are we going to put that? I think maybe... We put it just there. Maybe over here we could fit another classroom, possibly. If we get rid of that tree. I don't like chopping down the trees, but if we put another sort of similar thing there, we could get another classroom in and then kind of have that as a corridor coming across. I'll be okay with that. Or do we put some classrooms down here? That's a, I'd say that's a pretty much perfect size for a classroom. That's really good. So I think, yeah, can we fit some more in down here? If we had that as a corridor two classroom. So the staff room, maybe, given that the headmaster's office is over here, maybe the staff room could also go over here. I don't know what that little room is there. Could the staff room go over here? Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on. There's some more. What? Hang on a minute. What's happening? What's happening here? Click that. More illicit gaming. Okay, hang on, Betty. Get on it, please. Time to get some more games consoles that you can sell at the, wherever it is, the computer game exchange. What are you looking at? Oh, that's the new game. And yep, you're being told off. Stop, says Betty. I'm sorry. It's you again. I think Zhang Zuo, it, you must have a lot of money to just keep constantly buying games consoles. I mean, it's, it's impressive. Oh, hang on. It said we could expel them because they had three demerits. So when they get told off three times... Does that mean we can kick them out? I don't want to kick them out. They're only playing games. Not that if they've started a fire or something, then yeah, we might kick them out. But they're just playing a few games. It's fine. That's not so bad. That's not the end of the world. I mean, really, the panda's the most disruptive thing so far. It's sitting on that desk again. Yeah, we could put another classroom in over there. We'll get to the end of this week first. That seems like a sensible thing to do. Um, but then, yeah, I think over here is where we put the staff room. Let's work on that. Well, time's ticking by. We shall get on with this, I think. So, yeah, do some demolishing of things. So get rid of all that and those things as well. And also, is that a little kind of outhouse? Get rid of that because that's just a bit weird. And that cone. Um, I quite like those. I don't really know what they are, but I quite like them. And then, can we just get rid of this? Can we get rid of that bit there? Oh, no, hang on. Then we might need to actually expand that. So, yeah, I think it's like that, isn't it? So if we then go... Okay, so a staff room needs to be relatively big, I would say. So like that. There we go. So build that, please, contractors. I think whatever the guy's name is that does the building. Uh, Brick Builderson, or whatever it was. Um, yeah, is um, going to sort that out. We've really got to focus on cleanliness. Remember to build cleaning supplies near areas that are dirty. Okay, I don't think we have cleaning supplies just yet, do we? Have we got that? Uh, for a better view of various facilities, use the view feature. 
Okay, click here to open views. Oh, okay, right. Um, ah, there we go. So that is cleanliness, is it? That is cleanliness. So provider's colour, overwrite colour. Okay, I don't know what that means. Uh, where's dirty? Where is dirty and where is clean? I'm not entirely sure. Um, the dark blue bits are where bins are. And I don't know what the other bits mean. What do these bits mean? Is that where... Uh, is that where the, there's some sinks over there, which might make that a bit cleaner, but I'm not quite sure what that means. Um, okay, thanks, I think, game. Thanks for that. That was a thing that you showed us, and I sort of vaguely, maybe possibly didn't understand. But never mind, let's get time ticking on, and we'll get that bit set up for the staff room. And then as soon as the research is done, we can get building a room for the staff to have a little bit of a break in. Hang on a second, we do have some simple cleaning supplies right there, a broom and a tray. People nearby will voluntarily clean the area. Maybe we have to put a few of them around. Hang on a moment. Okay, you lot. What are you up to? Okay, right, Betty. Oh, hang on. Two more days into the exams. How are the students doing? If their progress slows down or stops, remember to swap in a more suitable teacher before it's too late. I think it's looking pretty good, to be fair. Don't worry about it, Ms. Lynn. Um, Betty, they're doing gaming again. I, I mean, I don't know where they're funding this this sort of uh, gaming habit from. Um, but yeah, is it, is it Zhang? Are you Zhang Zhao again or whatever it was? No, you're a different person. That, there's a lot of gaming going on. There's a lot of gaming. Good group. Right, there you go. Don't do it again. I won't. And inevitably, they're going to do it again. Because you know, they're kids and that's what they do. I think then... Uh, yeah, let's get these things in. So go to hygiene. So yeah, simple cleaning supplies. So I think... Oh, uh, that this Right, I see. So the... Hang on, pause time. The blue is where there is a cleaning thing. So the blue currently shows where our bins are. And then the green area is the area that's covered by those particular things. So if we were to put a cleaning supply thing right there on that wall, that means that that area can now be cleaned up a little bit. Okay, right. If we put one in the corner over there, that might allow that classroom to be just sort of you know, spruced up a little bit. And then maybe as well, pop one in the corner of the research room because that is possibly going to get a bit messy so there we go and then hopefully Joe will put one there as well between the loos between the doors of the toilets because that might make sense too and I think that'll do for now that'll do uh, right we need a door over there a door would be useful to get in and out of there wouldn't it um doors doors a wooden main door wooden bay window floor to ceiling window small wooden door no we'll have a large wooden door to the staff room it can be it can be big and fancy in fact could it go under that the windows are quite good in the middle of those though. what we'll do is we'll put it there is it worth connecting that up why are we going to have it as two distinct things i don't know let's just connect them up i sure want to merge these buildings yeah absolutely yes merge them together because we might as well and then we could have a little bit kind of coming along here, maybe a bit around the back. We could have another room along here. That would make more sense. I think that's a more logical thing to do. Okay, right. So there we go. There's the panda. There's Smiley, the troublesome panda. What was the cat called again? Muffin. Muffin the cat. Hello, Muffin the cat and Smiley the panda. Smiley, don't go on anybody's desk, Smiley. I can see what you're doing. Smiley. We were trying to do some important work in there. And you're sitting on the desk again, you nuisance. Uh, yeah, right. So they're working on that. And we've got yeah an entire, what, about two thirds of today left to go in terms of teaching. And then all of tomorrow. I think we're going to be fine. We're going to be past that red line there. It's going to be brilliant. And also the research is nearly done as well, which is very good. So there we go. Wait for that to finish off. And people are brushing up. I think people are grabbing the brooms and they're sort of just sweeping up around the place. Oh, that's quite good. Well done, everybody. Well done. That's very important. It would be nice if we were on break now. Shall we skip school? No. No, you shall not skip school. I can see you and hear you. I can hear all things and see all things from my mighty sky position. Um, yeah, don't skip school, please, because that's bad. However, research again is being slightly impacted by a panda. If you could move out of the way. As the number of facilities in the school increases, the headmaster's office will be unable to juggle everything. In pursuit of better progress, we need a management office to share the headmaster's burden. Okay, right. 
So we've got a new building. Now, do we have to research it? Or is it already there, ready for us to jump in? Uh, yeah, there. It's already there. So manage all facilities except the principal's office and sharing management pressures for the principal's room, thereby expanding the organisation of the academy. Okay, so I imagine we're going to put somebody in there and then we're going to get all sorts of other kind of admin options and things that we can do. Uh, that's going to be the staff room. So maybe, maybe what we do is, let's go to here. Let's possibly build up this entire big bit along here. We can't build there. For, oh, hang on. We've got to take them out, have we? Hang on. Uh, yeah, don't do anything there. Have we got to remove these? Furniture move mode. How about for now, we put those... Oh, they're not even centred around the edge of the door. That's a bit of a nuisance. We're going to put one there, because they're in the way. And put another one next to it. Okay, good. They're a bit odd, but okay, no. And then, if we just fill that entire bit up with structure, we can do what we like with this. We can have a door to there, that could be the management room, and we can have a staff room, and we can have various other bits and bobs as well. We could put another room down here, that wouldn't be so bad. In fact, you know what? We'll think about that. So it's three by one, two, three, four. Okay, so one, two, three, three, four, like that. We might have to chop a tree down, but that's okay. Yep, yeah, okay. I think we go ahead with that. Let's get all this sorted, please. So run time on nice and fast. We've now got plenty of little objectives over here, including making the school look a lot better. That was what we decided our main objective was. Not, you know, getting the best results or whatever, and not whatever, you know, bringing many people together. We wanted the school to look very, very fancy. There we go. Staff break room is unlocked. It can help alleviate fatigue and reduce stress. Okay, right, so pause time in the background. What do we go for now? If we go back to lifestyle, have we got these done? I think maybe what we have to do is I think we have to unlock school reform one and it gives us access to all the corresponding research bits underneath it. I think that's what happens. Maybe that's what we have to do. So, okay, what's going to be important? Have we covered all the humanities stuff? Have we covered that off? Are we teaching them humanities things that we're not quite sure about? I think we're okay. I think we're okay. So there's algebra and quite a lot of those and geometry and stuff. But um, yeah, I think, although is it worth just getting that done anyway? Is it worth just getting that done in terms of research? Just get junior humanities courses done? And then maybe get this week over and done with. So get to, you know, through to our first lot of exams, see how they go, and then next week do the whole school reform thing. That might be okay. But um, yeah, we'll get this done now. Junior Humanities courses. It'll unlock Literature Fundamentals, Writing Basics, and Reading Basics. Okay, get that done though, please. That's not very long. 0 0.6 days. Nice and simple. Right, staff room over here. We're going to need some doors. Uh, doors and windows. Okay. So if we put a door, hang on, how does that work then? How are we going to do it? Actually, yeah, the, we can go through either. So we can get to our room, I say we, Betty, so the headmaster can get to their room from the outside or the inside. Um, I think we're going to have to zone this out, aren't we? So where is the staff room? Staff break room, okay. So do that. Yeah, there we go, the walls then appear. Uh, we need to put a door in on this side, but that's fine. So um, can we do that now? Can we put a door in right now? That would be good. A regular door. In fact, no, a big door might look quite good like that. Right in the middle. Wonderful. Uh, and then can we have some fancy windows? That'd be quite good. Elegant bay windows made from wood. Oh, I'll bet that's quite fancy. Can we have a few of those? Can we have one, two, three? Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. There's a, there's a tree in the way, but that might look a bit naff. Uh, okay, what we'll do is we'll have them in pairs, like that. Okay, that's pretty good. Nice door coming in, got fancy kind of bay window things over there. That looks quite nice. We'll keep that free, because we might end up building there. That might end up being a bit of the school. Um, and then in here, yeah, we've got to put all the things in we need. So, um, a coffee station or a tea station. Come on now, game, come on. Coffee or tea, please. Um, we'll have two of those. There is a bird there. Hello, bird. Uh, right, so two of those. So you can go and get your lovely caffeinated beverages over there. And then we do want... Oh, some lovely paintings. But some lovely paintings like that. We'll have one... Can we have one beside the door? 
Can't have one just there, it seems. We're not allowed one just there. Um, a coffee table. Right, so I think maybe over here we'll just have some seats where people can just sit on their own. So they can just have a bit of a sit down and that's all fine. So if you just just need a bit of bit of uh, you know alone time, you can sit over there. But then we will have a nice kind of arrangement over here where people can sit opposite each other and they can have a nice chat. So how about we have that like that look? So they can sit opposite each other. And then we'll have another bit like that and another bit like that. And then maybe coffee table in the middle there. That's quite good. And then I think, do we do the same again in the middle of the room? How about we put it there? So one of those and then a thing like that and a thing like that. And then we'll just took a, so hang on, individual chairs into the corner like that. Just one chair because we're not getting in the way of the nice windows there. There we go. Perfect. Yes, absolutely amazing. The staff room is now up and running. Does that give us any kind of building score? How do we assess our building score? What is our building score? Do we know what it is? Um, school level victory goal. So we're just trying to get building score. We need to get one and a half thousand in progress. Oh yeah, we want to tick that. But how do we get building score? What exactly is building score? I'm not quite sure what it is. Um, does it help over here? Uh, oh, hang on. Can we can we claim these things? Increase admissions number. Can we, is that a thing we can claim? Oh, yay! We did a thing. Okay, can we have that one? We've uh, research completed junior humanities course. Can we have twenty one whatever these things? I don't know what this is. We've oh okay, that's what's that? Oh, that's upgrading the school. Oh okay, we'll have that as well. So that was points and money. Oh, that was huge. That was a huge big thing. Right. That's exciting. Contribution points. We get 100 sort of progress points for that. Upgrade reward. So we get six grand and some fancy kind of statues. Ooh, exciting. And school ranking. We are uh, seventh. Cupboard College is seventh. Not too bad at all. Not too bad. So you've got a way to go to, um, to topple unknown school. New school on the block. They've got 306 little kind of exciting trophy point things. We're not quite there yet. We're not quite there yet. Um, oh, that's our building score. Oh, okay, right, yeah. We just want lots of lovely things. Outdoor score is only 37. That's a bit disappointing. Okay, environment. Can we... Actually, the front of the school is a bit of a shambles, isn't it? Can we have a lovely kind of path? Going from the front of the school, sort of, yeah, the entrance bit here through to there. Because that is, look at it, it's all over the place. There's grass, it's a big old mess. Could we sort that out? That might be quite nice as a little bit of a project. So clear all this kind of grot out of the way. And then we'll put some lovely lights in. It can look all nice. We might even use those things. We could sort of line the bottom bit with those. That'd be quite good. Right, what floor would we like? I do quite like that kind of paving. That's quite nice, isn't it? That's good. I don't like that one. It's a bit mossy. So yeah, if we just did that look as an experiment. Yeah, that's okay. I don't so much mind that. That's also quite nice, isn't it? Hang on, put that in. I oh, know I like that one more. I like that one more. Okay, so bring that in like that. So it's in between. Yeah, there's a little bit of fence there to show us which way to go. So like this. And then we're going to spend, we are going to spend quite a bit of money on this, but it's fine. It's going to be okay. We're going to get some money back and it's going to be wonderful. Right, so draw that in like that for now. So it's looking significantly better. And then it's going to have to sort of meet the front of the school at some point. So we just do that, look. So it's going to narrow down to sort of four. We could do with possibly sorting that out. Can we change the floor over there? Are we allowed to change that floor? I think we are, because that does look a bit rubbish as well. So if we try and do this, look. So bring it over, and then have two like that. And then bring it over again, and then like that. And then bring it over again, and a bit like that. And then just link that together. Yes. There we go. That looks better. An actual real path that goes up to the front. And then over here, behind the little kind of food tent thing... We can have... How about that, then? So we'll have that as the paving for that. Sort that out underneath... Oh, it, okay. The food thing has it... That's got its own floor. 
Okay, we'll have that kind of rubbish looking floor for the food thing. Fine. Yeah, we can't change the floor of that. Or can we? Can we go in here and do some changing? Edit. Can we change the floor? Uh, we can add other bits and bobs. I don't know if we can change the floor. I think it's only sort of, yeah, items we can put in there. That's a bit of a shame. There's a cat and a, f a, cat and a dog food bowl. Cat food bowl. Yes. We're putting one of those in right now. Why wouldn't we have that already? Yes, absolutely. Uh, okay, that looks a bit better. Can we now add some lovely outside things? So outdoor plants. Yes, okay. These are just trees. Furniture. Decoration. So now, yeah, white flower beds and things like that. So stone lines. How about then? These are expensive, but we could put on either side of here as you come in a couple of stone lions so we can have is that the right way round which no that's not the right way round do the point them the right way so one like that and one like that that's okay uh, environment go to the paving outside that needs to be grass get that as grass as well just you know a bit of grass over there that's fine just make it grassy uh, like that as well just make it nice and grassy so yeah some stone lions as you come in because that looks quite good I think so you see them and you go, ooh, that's impressive. And then we can go to maybe up around here, look. We do need some lighting. Where are the little ink and down? Oh, these aren't outside lights, though, are they? These aren't outside lights. Okay, right. We haven't got any outside lighting just yet. We'll get there at some point. How about we do get the level one Steam review milestone thing? It's a thousand monies, but it does give us ten lovely points um so yeah can we see can we see how many of those we've got there so victory goal so can we see how many of those we've got we did see that at some point recently um where was it how did we see the total amount of sort of building uh, up there right 531 is our current sort of uh yeah that's our building score school building so 531 so if we then add ourselves in we go to there, add in this thing. Is that going to go up to 541? And if we just put that there, look, that'll work quite well. So 541. Okay, so we are slowly moving toward one and a half thousand building score. It's going to take a while. It's going to take a while to get to that point, but that's okay. And I think just to finish things off, uh, we're just going to have a little bit of grass over here. I don't like those sort of the rubbishy mossy looking things around it's making it look slightly unsightly so how about we just get rid of those with some lovely bits of grass there we go that side looks much nicer we'll just put some grass around the edges here doesn't look great when it spills onto the things but that's fine we can get, get gardener or something it'll be fine so do that bring that in and there we go that looks a lot nicer. That looks way more organised now. We have spent quite a lot of money on a slightly pointless path, but I quite like that. And then, as a final thing, could we get, where is there? White flower bed, pink flower bed. Yeah, can we get a little sort of pink flower bed put in just there, just to make it look nice? Well, that's quite fun, next to that thing. That's quite pretty. Okay, yeah, happy with that. Cat tower, where a cat plays. Yes, we can have one of those. We'll put that into the headmaster's office. Uh, we'll put it there, not in the corner. The cat doesn't go in the corner. Nobody puts cat in a corner. There we go. Wonderful. Uh, right, let's move time on and do some of that schooling stuff we're supposed to do. I remember all that. We're supposed to like teach students, aren't we? And not just do lovely kind of outdoor decorating. There we go. Right, so do they all go to the playground, by the way? They're all going for food right now. That's okay. New student applications will only be sent in the first three days. You can use the last two days to focus on teaching. Ah, Okay, so as soon as you get to the end of day three, you can't bring any students in. But you might not want to do that anyway, because it's unlikely they're going to pass with only two days of teaching. Yeah, okay, that makes perfect sense. I'm with you on that one, game. Okay, the staff room is in, and people are using it. Look, there's Ms. Lynn having a sit down. I mean, they just sort of teleported through the sofa, but that's okay, that's fine. So you're a researchy person, and you're our only teacher right now. But that's okay. I mean, we are in the middle of a teaching session. Should you not be over here? Who's... I oh know. Betty's taken over. Betty has taken over the teaching of the class whilst Ms. Lynn goes and... I don't know, whatever I'm doing, whatever she's doing. Oh, she's gone to the loo. Okay. 
That's acceptable. We'll let her go to the toilet. That's absolutely fine. Who are you? You are... Are you one of the other researchy people? Are we researching stuff? Yeah, we're researching the junior humanities courses. Could we not just get on with that? Do it a bit quicker, please. That would be marvellous if we could. Uh, right, okay. Run time on nice and quick. Recess. Does anybody go to the park? Everybody just goes for food. We've built a wonderful, lovely park down here. We've, and it's got a little icon. It's got an exciting icon with it. Um, but nobody seems that bothered. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Uh, right, next thing up, we need to get in a management office. So I think what we'll do is we'll let time tick by. I think we put it in here. So for the minute, can we grab that window and put the window... Yeah, a few people did say windows might help with light. You're probably absolutely right. We maybe should have put some windows in because yeah, I kept forgetting. Oh, hang on. The staff room's going to be dark, isn't it? Oh, no, it's got windows. It's got windows. Yay. Uh, we might need some lights in the staff room elsewhere. Uh, hang on. We'll have these ones. It's a bit dark around here. So we'll put a light there and we'll have a light there. There we go. And then we'll put... You know, one there and one there, just to make sure it's okay. I mean, our room doesn't have lights in it. Our main room doesn't. What if we just put one in that corner and one in that corner? That should be okay. And I think everything else is still properly lit. Okay, wonderful. That's good. Uh, yeah, let's get the management room in. We'll put that over there. And then we can sort of form... We'll have another room along here somewhere. And there can be a bit of a corridor. And then we can have another classroom down there. I think that's what we do. But let's get the management room in. So, facility management office and we kind of want how big do the corridors need to be i think three wide is good for the corridor so one two three so if we sort of go from there i mean that's okay isn't it it doesn't need to be that big pop that in like that put a door on this side and office desk and a telephone table it's a telephone table okay so the desk can go um, uh, don't know, like that. The desk can face the door, so people can come in and see what's going on. And then the telephone table can go... Ne I don't know which way round the, tel the telephone table is. Okay, is it that way round? It might be that way round, possibly. Um, and then we could do with getting some windows in. Floor to ceiling, wooden window. Not Maybe not going for that, actually. How about we just have a window there and a window there? for some light and then yes we'll just have an actual proper light kind of um how about two in the middle of the room like that to make it nice and bright and then of course hang on a minute a lovely plant in the corner very nice and then can we get a bin can we get a bin in here just pop a bin over there in that corner we haven't got a bin in the actual staff room either that's probably a bit of an oversight isn't it where can we put a bin over here can we put one there no, we can't put one in the staff room. Maybe because it's not a thing that has to go into a staff room. Maybe it's not allowed. I don't know. Can we put one in there? No, we can put one in there. It's a bit weird, but okay, game, okay, that's fine. What else can we put in there? A telephone table, office desk, a shabby filing cabinet. Oh, yes. Can we have a shabby filing cabinet? Let's have two. Let's retreat ourselves. Extra shabby. Um, Yeah, that'll do. I think that'll do. Do we need any more decor? Standard appearance chart. We're going to put one of those in. I don't even know what that means, but okay. Right, there we go. Headmaster, some facilities do not have essential staff assigned to them. Please don't forget about them. Yeah, okay, hang on. We've literally just built the room about a second ago. Okie doke. So what do we do? What do we do with this? New management department already established. Select a department icon. Oh, get to pick a little icon for the management department. It'd be, it's got to be a B, unless it's a kettle. A kettle or a teapot, as we know. Um, yeah, we're going to have that because it's a bee and bees are brilliant. They're the best animal. So, uh, set department name. Management department one. Director. And then assign a manager. Position requirements. Rudimentary management certificate. Uh, <laughs> right. Not quite sure how we do this. Right. Pause time for a second. Do we need to go and hire somebody? Teacher recruitment. Do we need to hire somebody who's good at management? Laura Hall's quite good at management. You're good at that. Do we hire you? Let's hire you. Laura Hall, in you come. You can come and teach some humanities, but maybe just go and do some other stuff. Maybe you'll go and do some sort of management of a department or whatever. Um, why? Why is she relatively cheap compared to all the others? Is it because some of her stats aren't quite as good? Maybe. Okay, do you know what? We'll get Laura Hall in. 
And then we'll go back over here. So how do we do this then? Uh, where was... The, oh, here we go. Right. Position unlocked. How do we change this around? It was in there. Rename. Oh, oh, okay. Right. Hang on. Edit logo. All oh, the things are in here now. Ah, bother. Okay, right. So the manage, manage department one, we need to give that a name. So, um, uh, I, I don't really know what this is doing at the minute. Let's figure out what it does and then we can rename it and do it the bits and bobs. I'm a little bit confused with what's happening with this. So we're going to put Laura Hall into there. Oh, she's unqualified. She's unqualified. She doesn't have the thing that we're looking for. Oh, that's the qualifications. Ms. Lynn is qualified. Laura Hall is not. So we can't help. So now we just hide a person and they're just going to kind of hang around for a bit. Oh, botherations. Can we make her go on that course? If we say yes... Oh, hang on a minute. Right. We, we've, we've made a bit of a mess of this. Right. How do we look at our staff? Go to here. Right. Laura Hall. Can we send you away to do some training? The game did tell us about training. Train teacher. Management proficiency. Maybe if we do that, she'll then get that thing in my pop or research proficiency. Maybe she'll get that thing. Uh, teacher proficiency exceeds training for this stat. Further training will only waste resources. It's going to go 15 to 19, isn't it? It's going to cut... It's going to cost 10 grand? 10 grand? Good Lord. No, I, I think not. I think not. Okay, Laura Hall, you might just have to hang around for a bit. Um... I don't know what to do with this now. I'm very confused. The game's kind of not overly helping us with this. Are we supposed to set that up? Assign a director to manage department number one. What does that mean, game? I can't pick the person I hired. We've got Ms. Lynn, but Ms. Lynn is teaching. And then we've got Oliver Curie, who's doing the research. I think they're our chief researching person. If we pick Ms. Lynn, does she now leave this role? Does she finish that? Um, open the department map. Uh, how is that it? Don't know if that's the department map. Okay, that's the department. Ah, is that the department map? Is that where we get to that screen? Hang on, I'm gonna go and check. Yeah, okay, that's where we got to that. So ensure management a management office carries at least one classroom in the department map. Okay, that is. Where's the classroom? The classroom is that one. No personnel assigned. This is very befuddling. Uh, okay, hang on then. So Ms. Lynn is over there, but we might want to change that. No management module assigned. I genuinely have no idea what we're doing. <laughs> what is the function of this? What does this do? How do we do any of the assigning things game? Um, right. I'm going to move time on the tiniest bit. Is Miss Lynn leaving that classroom? Has she departed that classroom? No, so she, she's still teaching. She's still teaching. It says no personnel assigned. Management status, but she is still teaching. The weekly exam is today. After school, the students will head over to the exam venue. We'll still have the whole day. Remember to check on the students and rearrange courses to ensure they can do their best. Okay, so it's gone to a next thing. Right, where is Miss Lynn now going? So is Ms. Lynn having a break? Right, Betty's running to do some emergency teaching over there. Ms. Lynn is... Where is Ms. Lynn? Where's she going? Having a bit of a break. That's okay. And you're just going to wander about, have a chat with the panda for a bit, possibly. Are you then going to go back and do some more teaching? Or have we kind of broken that now? I think she's going to go and work in here. Okay, that's not what we want. We don't want that. Can we go and hire another person who's got the right qualifications? Um, No. 77% of the way through refreshing these. Don't think anybody's got the right qualifications. Okay, what we'll do is, can we go back to here and homeroom teacher, Ms. Lynn. Reassign Ms. Lynn back in. Ms. Lynn is the best one. She can teach them all the exciting stuff and she's very good. That's going to be fine. And then over here, just to keep us happy, Oliver Curie, you go over there and then in terms of science stuff, chief researcher is going to have to be Joey Young. So we've kind of rejigged our personnel a bit. Um, needs more researchers or the construction of a research room. I think the game should be sort of happy with that now. The game should be okay. We've rejigged things a little bit. It should be fine. Or have we not got enough researchers now? Um, 
Okay, for now, uh, over there in the research room then, could we add the person, you, so Laura Hall. You're not very good at research, but you're better than doing nothing at all. You might as well go and do something over there. Um, one department is under excessive stress. The research department is under excessive stress. Really? You've only got one fairly simple job. Um, and then over here, right, what was our goal then? Ensure management office manages at least one classroom in the department map. Okay, let me go and see if I can figure out how to do any of what that is. Oh, I think we can drag and drop these things. We can pick up the classroom from over there and we can drag it underneath the managing office thing just there. Okay, so drop that in. Okay, so now that management department thing is looking after that classroom. Well done. Now by freeing up management proficiency, you can continue to expand the school. Remember, path and management proficiency training are crucial. Okay. <laughs> what? But what does this do? What does it do in terms of the actual in-game stuff? I don't quite know what the point of that is. Also, why does that say five out of three? I'm very confused. Um, yeah, what does it do? What is the function of this? So we've got... I assume you can have sort of... Is this where you have houses? Is this where you'd have houses? So you could have B house, and that could look after three classrooms. And then you could have you know, whatever, Badger house, and then you know, Goldfish house or whatever. Is that how that would work? I'm not entirely sure. We're going to call that, because it's got a B icon, we're going to call that B... This is where we're going to have our houses then. So this can be B house... Man, a beehive? No, because it's houses. It's like your school houses. So we'll have bee house management. Oh, oh okay. Bee, bee house office. There we go. That'll do. And, uh, okay, okay that. And then we've got a director. Now, I think we could change the name of that to one point. That's edit the logo, isn't it? We like that. Um, but yeah, can we change, can we change your title? Can we change the fact that you're a director? Because I don't like direct. Oh, I've just put no Oliver Curie go back in. There we go. I don't think we can change that now. I don't think we can change that, which is a bit of a bother. And then we've got a thing here as well. What does that do? Select item. Teaching guide. Teaching efficiency of accountable classes up by 10%, but satisfaction of homeroom teachers will decrease slightly. Oh, uh, research is king. Increases research efficiency and managed research rooms by 5% and the salary of corresponding staff by 2%. Oh, there's like little kind of bonuses to things. Extracurricular books. Increases students' tuition in managed classes by 5G. Okay, I don't know what that means. And sound judgment. Management cost of managed departments minus 1 and all corresponding staff salaries up 2%. Let's do that. We're going to annoy the sort of homeroom teachers a little bit, but teaching efficiency goes up by 10%. That's got to be worth doing, hasn't it? That's really, really good. Oh, look at this. Look at that. Teachers cannot work in multiple management positions at the same time, but they can also be a teaching teacher. So remember to recruit or adjust the teacher when the position is increased. Okay. <laughs> uh, multiple ma you can't work in multiple management positions at the same time, but they can be a teaching teacher. So when the position is in crit, what position? I'm just going to press OK and hope that everything works out fine. Is Miss Lynn coming back in here? Or has she gone again? Miss Lynn, where are you going? You're going over there. You're going for another break. That's probably OK. Why is there a thing on that classroom? What's that about? So two departments are under excessive stress. Try rearranging the department structure or change managers. And that needs more researchers or the construction of a research room. But we've got two researchers already. Is it because the panda is on the desk again? Is that the issue? And then we've got... What do the numbers mean? What does that mean? Uh, management costs, 20. Management status, 15. Uh, okay. So are we to assume that we need to increase a you where's the person in charge oliver curie is the head of b house office so that office there you're the head of but you're not very good at management you have got your management training thingamajig wherever that is wherever that's shown that thing there rudimentary management certificate okay how's that thing refreshed 93 percent. okay what we'll do is we'll wait and see if that changes We'll wait and see if that kind of updates. 
95%. Do you know what? Let's just get it done nice and quick. 9798991100. Boop. Right, new people. Has anybody got that management certificate thing? No. Okay. So nobody's got that. So you in here. So where are we? Uh, just there. So you. Can we possibly send you on... It says Ms. Lynn is idle. Why is Ms. Lynn idle? Homeroom teacher. Ms. Lynn, go and do some teaching. <laughs> do the teaching. And then you in here, are we able to send you away? Can we bring up your profile? No, hang on a minute. Down to here. Um... Yeah, they're both in humanities. They're science. So Oliver Curie is now, yeah, head of that thing. That's okay. But yeah, do we send you at great expense on a course? Do we send you on a management proficiency course? Teacher's proficiency exceeds training proficiency for this stat. Fully understand what that means. What's that thing as well? Training proficiency. Teacher's proficiency exceeds the training proficiency for this stat. Further training will only waste resources. But it seems to imply to me that it's going to go from 9, which he's got now, up to 14. Uh, where are his stats? Yeah, at the moment, he's got research, uh, management of 9. So do we need to increase that? If we increase that, does he become better at managing things? I will admit this is a little bit... This is a bit befuddling. Training is... Headmaster, add new training plan? Oh, Okay. Select a teacher, Oliver Curie, management proficiency. That's what we want you to do. Uh, I, I think it's worth, it's going to go up five, but we're just going to confirm it. Ten grand. It's fine. Go and do some training, please, Oliver Curie. Go and do that. And we finally unlock the secrets of junior humanities courses. Okay. So now, what do we go for? I think we're not going to work on that. 9.4 days now, because apparently they're stressed out in research land or something. I don't fully get it, but... Uh, right, the first two things in lifestyle are done. Education, management, campus security. Not so bothered about that. Maybe let's look at unlocking the junior art courses. Let's get those done so we can talk about music appreciation, oil painting appreciation, and doodling. That sounds like a fun thing to do. We can do a bit of doodling. Uh, and then, yeah, we need to look at... Oh, hang on a minute. Right. We've got some more kind of um, naughty game playing going on. So let's get uh, Betty to go and deal with that. She can go and handle that. That's fine. Um, yeah, I don't fully understand. Yeah, the research room is stressed, apparently. I don't know what to do about that. I'm not entirely sure how to fix this problem. Um, could we hire another person who's good at researching, but also management? What? Why is it? What is this number? That number is coming from, what is it? So five from a facility, five from a chief researcher, two from overloaded. But why are they overloaded? What is making it overloaded? So they've got management status, five over three. So chief researcher gives them plus three, but researchers is minus five. I don't really know what I'm looking at here. I feel like the game needs to do a little bit more help with this bit, because this is a bit weird. Maybe, what if we unassign them? Is it because there's too many people? Can we just unassign you? Status, teacher stats. How do we just make that person not work there anymore? How do we do that? Can we tell Laura Hall to just sort of not do that job? Laura Hall, can you not do the job you're currently doing over in research because you're not very good at it and maybe it's causing a bit of a bother. How do we unassign you from that particular job you're doing? I'm going to admit I don't quite know how to unassign her from this room. I can see how we assign her to the room. It's like that look. We go, yes, yeah, go and do that. But I can't see how we unassign her. There's an assign there. Oh, what if we just put go and stand out in the corridor for a bit? Is that going to help? And then she's gone back in and done some more research. I still think she's kind of assigned to the research bit i don't i don't know how to unassign them do you right click hey ah, right click okay right that was a bit of random guess right so she should unassign herself from that room momentarily because now it's just the chief researcher doing the thing and then nothing else although 
It still it says now need more researchers. The research thing is befuddling, and I don't understand all the things that it. Because now that seems to be absolutely fine. Um, I think is it because our chief researcher isn't very good? Are they not particularly good? I mean, their stress is coming down. Their stress level is coming down, which is good. But we've still got a nagging thing that there needs more researchers or the construction of a research room. And it looks like Laura Hall is still there, even though she's supposed to be idle. Uh, hang on. Assign. Can we assign you to the tea room? Assign to there. Run over to the tea room. And now you're doing some cleaning, which is good. We're doing some cleaning up. Okay, okay. Maybe now she's finally unassigned from there. Although I don't know what else she is now supposed to do. She can just get paid for wandering around for a bit. I don't understand what that means. I don't know why we need more researchers. Is there a really good researcher? Is there somebody who's completely amazing? Science teacher, Willie Nelson. Okay. <laughs> um, right. So 15 research proficiency. That seems pretty good. Who do we have already? So we've got um, proficiency. Uh, research is that one, isn't it? So Oliver Curry is only 12. So if we get that person in, they're they can be really good at doing the research. Maybe that's what we do. Or do we wait for another... Let's wait for another round of people, shall we? We've got not long until it refreshes. Does it add on or does it wipe the ones that are already here? I'm not quite sure. So next application. Okay. Now they're all significantly worse. Willie Nelson, come back. <laughs> okay, right. None of these are very good at the job. I don't quite understand why the science room is a bit of a bother, but never mind, never mind. Right, what we'll do is we've got something over here. We've gained enough contribution points to get some money and also gain 100 lovely points toward this thing here. Oh, have we gone to a... <gasps> We're a level two school. We're now a new school on the block. Okay, right. So that is now, yeah, that's what these schools were. Look, a bonus received from the Department of Education. We got some money and we got some lovely statues to put down. Okay, that's really good. Yeah, so now we are a new school on the block. Look, that's what we've got up to. That's what they've all got to as well. Right, that's, that's very good. That's very exciting. Have all these now been completely blatted? Because we did have a few of those ready. But no, they've all gone now. They, they've all gone. Bother. Okay, never mind. We are doing the junior art course. The research people can get on that eventually. Um, increase admissions number. Three up to 15. Okay. I think now what we do is... What time is it? It's coming up to the end of the day. So if we just run time on a bit... Hang on a minute. There's some nefarious shenanigans going on. More gaming. Uh, Betty, get on it, please. Your 310th gaming console. <laughs> there you go. Just sell that on for a bit of money. Hang on. Hang on. What's that? What's that there? What is this? It's uh, it's a cat in a box. The cat is so cute. Shall we keep it? A stray cat is a bit. Yes. Uh, please give it a name. Uh, okay. Uh, sweets is nice, but we'll, we'll go for Barbara. Barbara the cat. That's lovely. Okay. Hello, Barbara the cat. Are you okay? We have got another cat here. There is another cat around. And we've got a cat. There's a thing to you know, feed and water the cat over there. And there's a kind of a cat playing tower thing over there. So that's quite good. Who's wandering out around the back of the thing? Who are you? Oh, it's Laura Hall. Because she has literally nothing else to do, she's just having a fun time hanging around over there. Just enjoying nature. Okay, do you know what? Fair enough. I can't blame you. How is... Uh, the person over here doing because they should be being trained I think um, can we find out where they are so yeah Oliver Curie you should be on a training course but I don't know how we find that out because yeah that should have gone up a bit your management stat should have gone up uh, I'm not quite sure if it has okay right run time on we're going to get through to the end of the day because look it's after school time now and then it's going to go to night time but I think before then the people are going to do their exams. The exam will be starting soon. Will the teachers please lead the students to the exam venue? It's time for the exams. Let's head to the examination halls. Okay, what will happen? Let's wait and see. Okay, confirm. So they're all over here. That's not all of them. That's only 12 of them. The exam is now done. I wonder how the students did during the exam. Yeah, I wonder that too. Did they do okay? And 15 
out of 15 pass rate. Exam rating, excellent. How did everybody do? Did everybody do okay? Pass, 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 pass. Okay, amazing. So some people did a bit better than others, possibly 35 out of 21 for you in humanities, um, and sort of over here 21 out of 21, but you passed. Everybody passed everything. Oh, that's, that's fantastic. Okay, so where are we in terms of this? 30. Right. They got 874. Are we, are we supposed to have slightly more students than 15? Is that what we're supposed to do? And the results? Okay. We got A. Excellent. We got nine grand. We got lots of little kind of lovely contribution point bubbly things. Right. Done. And Mudford. Oh, that's where we get the people from. Thank you so much for what you've done for us. We'll study hard to repay you. That's okay, people of Mudford. Don't you worry. So, does that go up a bit? Yeah, so we, our reputation with them has gone up a bit because we've done a good job for their kids at the school. Yeah, okay, confirm that. Headmaster, the results are looking good this time. Our students are super smart. Nice job. Thank you very much. And then we... Hang on, right, pause. Time for a second. So now we've got a whole brand new... Have we got a brand new week? So number of students... So we've now got the same students as before, is that? So they can still aspire to go to the Marina Heaven College of Marketing. Are these the same ones? Um, yeah, because Charlene Martin was a bit of a troublemaker. So she's now in her second class and we can now get some more students in. So yeah, we're back up to just over 30 grand. I think what we'll do is, with that glorious exam success still ringing loud in our ears, we'll finish up for now. And then we'll come back next time and we will have a go at getting some more students in. We'll get another classroom in and then maybe we'll get another teacher. In. Or possibly we could use the teachers hanging around for a bit, get them over here to do some teaching. So we'll get another classroom, get another teacher assigned, get another 15 people in if we can, get up to 30 students. That'd be quite good. And I think for our second year, that's what we'll do, our second week or whatever it is, our second kind of term of learning, we'll have another 15 students I go up to 30 because then that might put extra demand on things that might make things quite busy and then we'll try to figure out what's going on with this over here because this I will admit was a little bit befuddling this whole thing here was quite baffling I don't know if his sort of um if that went up or not I'm not quite sure I don't really understand how the training works or anything so we will see what we can do with that next time because that was a little bit befuddling, if I'm being honest. So yeah, we'll try and work through that. But yeah, next time, big job. Get into the classroom, get some more students and just try to go off the success that we just had. And maybe, if we could, try to get some of these done. Maybe try to get toward 800 points to then move our school to the next level. That would be good. And of course, don't forget the lovely victory goal. We're now on what, 602 lovely kind of building score, how pretty your school looks points. So we'll try and work on that as well. We'll put some lovely decoratives down possibly and spend some of our money on some nice, shiny, pretty things. I think that could be quite good as well. But we will do all that kind of stuff next time out. Hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on in next time out in Let's School. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I will see you next time. For as we all know, with cake comes spiritual enlightenment and also happiness. That smell is totally not coming from any dark elder gods. Nope, not even a little bit. Okay, so a little picture of us on the wall, just to remind everybody who's in charge around here. Oh, and this person here is saying, Penge, you're my friend. Tom, you're my friend too. Nobody likes a soggy bottom.